We've got some big transfer news for Altrincham Football Club fans. We have signed Ollie Crankshaw from uh, Stockport uh, County. Ollie, welcome to Altrincham uh, Football Club. And this is a move that certainly I think Altrincham fans have uh, been hoping would uh, be on the cards for quite a long time. Yeah, I think obviously. Um, I've been speaking to the gaffer for a couple of weeks now and it's all materialised and I'm glad to get it done. So tell us about your uh, your early career as a, as a footballer. Um, as a young kid, started off at uh, Preston, um, played all the way up through the uh, the age groups and stuff like that, um, and then got let go before a pro uh, and dropped down to non-league. So I played uh, for the likes of Ramsbottom uh, and Colne, um, and kind of got my real chance when I was playing for Colne and stuff like that when I was 18, 17. Um, first taste of men's football, really. Um, and then kind of progressed to Curzon, which gave me that platform to play at um, a decent level and, and got my move into professional football. So by the time you were 20, you've played quite a lot of Northern Premier League First Division football, uh, mainly uh, Ramsbottom and, and Colne, as you said, but also also Clitheroe. It was probably Colne where you really grabbed uh, the eye. 14 goals in uh, 30 games is a, is a superb return for, for, for anybody. Yeah, I think that was kind of, as a young kid, maybe breaking through and, and really enjoying my football. That was probably the first time I'd enjoyed my football for a long time. So now I'm grateful for that. Uh, and it gave me a platform to go and play higher, which I knew I could have. So you've moved to uh, Curzon Ashton under... John uh, Flanagan and uh, they were, when you played against Altrincham in that season it was Altrincham's first season in National League North having been promoted as uh, Northern Premier League uh, champions Curzon were the established National League North club and going quite well particularly away from home at the time and you came you came to Alty in September and did us 2-0 uh, <laughs> and uh, you scored the second goal you've cut in from uh, the right and hit a lovely left foot uh, shot from about 22 yards uh, into the corner no chance for Elliot winning the goal no yeah um, I remember that goal quite clearly it was a uh... Still probably one of my favourite goals now because um, I think it was obviously relatively early on in the season so it was, I think it was probably my first goal for the club at Curzon so no, it was, as I say, Curzon gave me a good platform to go and play higher um, and obviously John Flanagan, the manager, was always good to me uh, and he gave me my, my, my opportunity to go and play professional football. You also played in the, in the game at uh, the Tameside Stadium that season. Uh, Curzon had a, a poor home record that season but very good away from home mm -hmm. but we won by six goals to uh, <laughs> yeah. nil. Um, Curzon started the game quite well, but in the end, it was a, a, a very good afternoon for Alty. Yeah, yeah, I remember that game quite clearly. Uh, it's probably one for me personally to forget, but definitely for an Alty uh, club to remember. So, uh, yeah, no, I remember that game clearly. And in that game, Joe Piggott got a hat trick. So he's a he's a player that uh, you've been a colleague of. Yeah, it's funny you say that. I was with Joe yesterday. Uh, I was with Joe Pig yesterday. So, yeah, we're still close friends. He's probably one of my closest friends in football. So, uh, he spoke very highly of the club. Um, obviously, we were both at Wigan at the same time, both on loan. So, a bit of bragging rights. But, uh, no, no, it was obviously a good moment for him. And uh, he's a great guy. So, you're at Wigan Athletic. You've moved to uh, Wigan Athletic um, as, uh, as a full-time professional uh, player. How did that experience go? Yeah, really well. Um, I think they were obviously looking to uh, bring probably young players who'd played men's football at a young age uh, and they gave me an opportunity. I signed for them um, pretty much at the start of the year, but obviously it only went through in January um, and I really enjoyed my time. It was probably one of the most enjoyable um, parts of my career so far. Um, manager was a good setup, was good. Everything around the club was, was brilliant. Um, and obviously Nick Chadwick and Gregory Ock were really good to me so that gave me another platform to go enjoy my football at a young age. And whilst you were at uh, Wigan you had a, a loan up in uh, Scotland, uh, the first of two loans up uh, north of uh, the border. You went to uh, Dundee but, but that loan was cut short by Covid. Yeah that was cut short which was unlucky because um, I think I was only up there for several months but was really enjoying my football. Dundee is obviously a massive club, it's it's a Scottish Premiership club, even though we were playing the Scottish champ at that point, um, and the manager was great to me, um, and I really that was probably another enjoyable time playing my football up there. It was a change of scenery, moving away from home, uh, but no, I really enjoyed it, and it was a shame it it got cut short because um, I think the the game before 
I'd, I'd scored and stuff like that. So that was a real shame because I think we would have gone on to win that league. And the year after, I think they did they, well. They did get promoted. So that was something you'll always miss out on them little moments of getting promoted with a team when you probably would have got promoted. So um, yeah, that, that's, that's sometimes that's how, how things work, isn't it? No one could have predicted COVID. So just part part of the uh, journey, I guess. And your next move was a big move for you personally to a big club, Bradford City in EFL uh, 2 and uh, at that level of football they don't come much bigger than Bradford City no obviously fan base and stature and everything is probably one of the biggest clubs in League 2 everyone knows that with uh, the fans and the stadium and, and everything revolving around the club it's a, a huge club uh, and credit to them the fans are great there um, yeah it was obviously that materialised in generally dead, deadline day so that was another uh, good opportunity for me Um Obviously, it didn't work out with the manager change and stuff like that, but that's sometimes that's how it works. It's happened to me a couple of times. With, I think it's had, happened three or four times where I joined the club and the manager um, changes in the next several weeks. So hopefully my luck will change um, and I can really kick on it. And who were the managers at uh, Bradford when you were there? Uh, it was uh, Connor Sells and Mark Truman, um, two young managers. Obviously, they were experienced in... Um, and obviously in the academy side, but not not so much in um, the first team. But they they done well, and I think it was just unlucky for them to. Uh, we went on a, a great run. I think we were the most informed team in in the country at one point, and then we had a sticky part. But I guess that's how football works. Sometimes it does swing in roundabouts. And then you move back into the uh, national league with uh, with with Stockport County, and I'm guessing that um, Stockport at that point was probably one of the few national league clubs that you would have moved to but they were certainly on on the up it was a big it is it is a big big project at yeah. uh, at Edgeley uh, Park and you signed in September 2021 uh, 20, uh, in what was a, a fantastic and memorable season for the Hatters yeah um I signed there and obviously I remember co- going to the club um very similar to Bradford big club great fan base um and at that time everything kind of worked out perfectly for me um it was a great season getting promoted and things like that. Um, so that's obviously memories you, you cherish for a long time. And uh, I really enjoyed my time like there. Um, I think over the last 12 months, I've probably not enjoyed it as much as obviously I wanted to. That's why I've wanted to come here and, and get really get back into enjoying my football because I think that has something I have lost in the last 12 months. And as a football player, that's all you want, kind of want to do. Um, otherwise there's no point in really doing it so no I'm glad I'm glad to be here and I'm grateful for Stockport everything they've done for me uh, and I wish them all the best but now it's time to crack on here now and you uh, you were on the bench in the two games against Altrincham uh, that season both played over the uh, Christmas New Year period um, and in the first game at Edgeley Park it was 4-1 at half time Stockport were outstanding on the day but you scored the final goal of the game came on as a sub and it's a magnificent goal you must have been involved I think you were involved four times in the move and eventually you played a, a 1-2 and finished uh, really well there can't have been too many better goals that you've scored for County no, uh, that's definitely one of my favourite goals there <clears throat> I think that season I scored a quite a few goals obviously I went on like a little purple patch. I think I'd scored 10 goals in 10 games at one point or nine goals in 10 games. So that was uh, around that Christmas time was kind of my purple patch. So now it was a it was a good game. Um, and I think at that point at Stockport, we were on a, a real momentum. Um, obviously, we went from 10th to go and win the league. We won pretty much every game um, that season from obviously when the new gaff had taken over. So now it was obviously good times and stuff like that. Yeah, it was... Uh, I think we had, we just had momentum and that, that type of thing, really. And you join Altrincham Football Club as a player who's won the National League, which is a major tre- achievement. Yeah, I think obviously, uh, I think that season was was very good. Don't get me wrong, um, we we won we won that league and it was a real achievement. But uh, hopefully, I can bring them experiences because obviously I've been involved with it and stuff like that. And uh, I know Rossi's been involved with it. So I think obviously if you get them players into your squad and you know what it takes to win the league and what what it kind of, the long season it can be and the Saturday, Tuesdays and what what you can really get out of the team and that type of thing. I think the, the biggest thing is momentum. Uh, and obviously I've watched, I watched Alti on uh, Monday at the Bank Holiday weekend um, and it, they've not lost the game yet. So we can hopefully, hopefully keep that um, momentum going and uh, bring it throughout the season. 
and tell us about how the move to uh, Altrincham Football Club has has come about. Um, it's been kind of in the process the last last week or so. Um, I think for me, I spoke to the gaffer, and I, I think it was kind of perfect. It suited everyone, um, me to get back playing, um, and he kind of said everything that I wanted to hear. He was like. Um, I want to you getting back to your best um, he just gave me real confidence in just even speaking to me over, over the phone and that's kind of what I needed as uh, as a, what I want from a gaffer um, and I think it's just getting back to enjoying my football again uh, and getting back to my best um, because that that's what I need and that's where, when I'm best at when I've got freedom he told me where he wants me to play and uh, everything really ticks the boxes really for my, my age and the style of football now um, with obviously wingers, obviously that that's not being played uh, elsewhere and at Stockport, so it came out perfectly for everything ticks the boxes really for me, and I can't wait to get started and settle down and um, really put my stamp on the club. And for the, those Altrincham fans who haven't seen you play or are not familiar with it with you, uh, tell us what sort of player you are. Uh, I'm a wide player, um, either on the left or the right, or I can play down the middle. Um, um, I'm pacey, direct, skillful. I uh, can get up players and just uh, just a real direct player. I think obviously I can really offer some uh, for for Alty going forward. So hopefully uh, I'll carry on doing what uh, what and, and get back to my best. We've made some great signings during the uh, close season. We've made a very positive start to the national league uh, season. Um, but last season we had our team decimated a little bit over the uh, turn of the year period and we lost Ryan Colclough who many mm. people felt was, was the best player in the National League, certainly a lot of people at Altrincham felt yeah. uh, that way uh, you're an obvious replacement uh, yeah. for, for, for Ryan Colclough so there's some big shoes to fill there Yeah definitely um, obviously hopefully I, I uh, can, uh, can do that uh, and I'm pretty sure I will you know uh, Ethan Ross well from your time at uh, at Stockport County. Are there any other Altrincham players that uh, you, you know well? Uh, yeah, I know Regan Linney uh, and Sam. Uh, so I think uh, yeah, it's good. It's good to know when you when you walk into and dress and know you know a few players. So obviously I've, I've uh, travelled in with Rossi at, at Stockport, and obviously I've been in a dressing room before, uh, and I've spoke to him, and I spoke to several other players who've been at the club and they've obviously spoke highly uh, and spoke very highly about uh, the gaffer and I think that was the big thing what uh, wanted me to join there everyone spoke very highly about the club and how it was run uh, and how the gaffer does things so yeah for me it was a, a no-brainer in the end and and what's your connection with uh, Regan Linney and Sam uh, just through playing um, obviously uh, Regan's from Preston and obviously I grew up around there so just know, n- n- known each other and I played against Sam when he was a, a younger lad um, and we've just kind of always it's a small world football isn't it so we've just always uh, known each other and stuff like that and I guess Altrincham's a, a club that you, you know a reasonable amount about having played against us a few times and, and you're a, a northwest uh, yeah. northwest uh, lad what's, what's, your, what's your impression of uh, of what we're all about I think obviously um when I when I the move first came about, it kind of it's going to give me a platform to go and, and play because um, the last twelve months have been difficult for me through injuries and uh, and just different circumstances really. So I think that that is the main case of obviously coming here and getting that platform and playing every, every single game. Um, and obviously I spoke to the gaffer and, and the club, um, and I think it just everything suits suits me and I, I suit the club. So. It's kind of perfect, really, for for me to crack on, um, and obviously the the style of play, the play attacking football, um, they're not they don't sit back and wait to score one and, and defend. So I've watched the last couple of games and um, maybe a few more chances being taken, and hopefully I can add that that quality in the final for to go and see teams off. You played at a, a number of. Um different uh, different levels in recent years EFL2 National League you played in the Scottish Premier Scottish Championship um, what would you say is is the difference between those leagues because there are there is quite a lot of movement now of players yeah. between uh, you know, National League and the Scottish Premier League yeah. and, and, and the Championship there's not really it's difficult to say it's difficult to put your your, your fingerprint on things I think it's more um, 
confidence and, and run of games uh, and stuff like that really the, there's never really m- much difference obviously there is there is a difference I've played in League One don't get me wrong there is a difference between the National League and League One there is and maybe it's fitness and uh, and um, quality the, but it's all fine margins and it's how, how you play as a team and how you, how you play uh, as a person everyone's attributes are different so the, there are little tiny bits but it's more probably consistency and doing it week in week out and doing it at a high standard rather than going up and down maybe the consistency is a big thing uh, but I probably say physical attributes are, are the biggest the biggest thing in, in the, the leagues of um, the leagues really that's probably what I'd say the physical attributes and Saturday Bromley at home uh, that's an opportunity for you to uh, be involved and make your debut for yeah. uh, for the Robins and I'm sure you're raring to go yeah I'm just just can't wait to get back on the football pitch now and uh just get that feeling about playing and uh, get that freedom of, and the confidence back. So now I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait to get going. It's been a, it's been a long time of obviously getting that enjoyment back. So no, it's good. It's going to be perfect. And hopefully it's a successful time for me and the club. I'm sure it will be. And I'm sure that Altrincham fans will be very excited by the fact that you've uh, joined us and wish you all the best in your time at uh, Altrincham Football Club. Cheers. Thank you.